My name is Carlo Generelli. I was born in the 1950s in Brooklyn, New York. The only child of two young immigrants from the same small village in southern Italy, Mercogliano Avellino. Ancestry.com tells me that 90% of my DNA is concentrated in the region around Mercogliano. Technically, I'm American, but genetically, I am pure Italian. When I travel there, I almost always discover a previously unknown relation, like Nonna Dora, a local butcher and second cousin on my mother's side. But even though I speak the local dialect and I try desperately to assimilate, I sometimes get the feeling I'm never going to fit in. Il mio destino America is built on immigration. Lately, however, it seems that to some, immigrant is a dirty word. Actually, at the turn of the 20th century, many Americans sought to curtail a different set of ethnic invaders, Southern Italians. Imagine an America without Italians? No Sinatra, no DiMaggio, no Dino, no Annette, no Coppola, no Travolta, no Madonna, no DiCaprio, no Gaga, no Chef Boyardee, for Christ's sake? Oh! Learning this made me realize that we each carry with us a larger legacy, even if it is unknown to us. Migration imports heritage as well. In other words, we are who we are now because of who they were then. So being first-born generation in the U.S., I have to question, where do I really belong? Whatever drove my parents to come to America resulted in my life-altering fate of being born and raised in a global metropolis instead of a small mountainside hamlet. My journey to self-discovery lies in learning the how and why of my parents' emigration. But with both my parents deceased, I am left to undertake this investigation on my own. Drawing on my background as a visual storyteller, I've decided to present this quest as a documentary film. I've been returning to Italy, searching through old documents, and seeking out personal memories. In doing that, I am uncovering a fascinating tale of two people I never really knew. Mi ricordo tuo padre non sarebbe potuto andare in America. Lei era venuta in Italia perché in America rapivano i bambini. Il legame tra tuo padre e tua madre era più solido e resistito. Their unique love story was set against the backdrop of World War II, full of desire, separation, hope and like many great romances, he was also touched by tragedy. However, my personal search also turned universal as I uncovered the hardships and complex circumstances that faced the many Italians who emigrated to the United States in the early 20th century. Their sacrifices and determination helped form our great nation. A nation that, like myself, was made by immigrants.